Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Hostile Spellbound Caves Developer Commentary. And last time I left you guys, I said I was going to try to make a monster grinder. <clears throat> so I could get some experience to enchant this diamond chest plate. Um, well, I did, and that's it right there. Unfortunately, it's terrible and I hate it, and I'm going to make a new one somewhere else. And I think I have an idea that I want to try. Um, did I plant? Okay, yes. Tree farms refreshed. So it works. It's just too slow for my taste. And uh, it's a fall trap that leaves monsters where you know you can kill them in one hit to get the experience. Um, yeah. Although sometimes it kills monsters anyway. I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, it's a tw yeah, it's a 23. Yeah, the zombies have more health than skeletons, and that zombie died when he hit the ground. So there must be something going on up in there. And, uh... You know, I think... You know, this it works okay. Um, well, except when that happens. <laughs> but, uh... I think I can make a better one somewhere else. So... I'm going to go do that, and... I'll be right back. <sighs> oh, hi there. Yeah, I'm still tearing it down. <clears throat> be right back. Back again. So, only a few seconds have passed for you. For me, it's been a very long time. I've finally torn down this entire thing. And now I have tons, tons of wood back uh, that I've reclaimed. And so I'm going to use that. And I think what I'm going to do is go to the Tenuous Crystals and make a uh, monster grinder uh, over at those skeleton spawners. And... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make a water elevator that has a water source block, then a sign, then another water source block, then a sign going upwards so that it drags the skeletons upwards. Um, and then they'll fall down maybe a 22 or 23 block height. I think it's 23. Um, it might be 22. It actually might be 22. And uh, that'll leave them with one hit left, and then I can just smack them and get tons of experience. And hopefully the uh, spawners will provide a more reliable rate than uh, just natural spawns. Because um, I noticed sometimes there would be a lot in that uh, grinder I just made. Sometimes there would be a lot, sometimes there would be a few, sometimes it would be like a drought. I'm not sure why. Um, and it wasn't because spiders were uh, clogging the thing. Um, I, I, know I didn't show it on camera, but I had... Uh, I had little um, cobblestone slabs uh, wedged in there in a pattern to stop spider spawning. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to... That's probably going to be boring to watch too, so I think I'll cut all that out. So the next time you see me, I should be uh, cackling madly as I uh, get tons of experience and tons of arrows forever. And it'll be awesome. And actually, before I head out, um, I was sorting my inventory. And I think I might go ahead and enchant this diamond chest plate. Because it is down to uh, about 35%-ish health left. Um, which is still very durable. I mean, it's still got a lot of life left in it. But... Uh, Get my bookshelves out here to power up the enchanting, but I'm already level 23, and uh, so yeah, I want to just meh. There we go. Uh, let's see what we can get on this thing 12, 12, 7, 10, 14, uh, 13, 14. So I think 14 is the highest so far. 
and it looks like that's what we're going to get is 14. Okay, no big deal. That's fine. Um, I'd honestly just be just fine going on without this thing because... All right, what do we get? All right, Protection 2. That's... Well, hey, that's better than Protection 1. And while we're here, may as well just use up the rest. Sharpness 2. Nice. Okay, awesome. So... All right. All right, now, uh, so next time you see me, I should be... Uh, Cackling madly, yes, 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 cackling madly in front of my new um, monster grinder. So I'm going to grab some stuff and then head over there. And, uh, oh yeah, this is plenty of supplies. So, all right, be right back. <laughs> yes! Oh, it works. And it works very well. Hi guys, I am back. And I've spent forever and a day making this. But I think it's going to pay off in the long run. Basically, those three skeleton spawners uh, that, were, that are in there... Uh, the skeletons spawn inside of a big box get pushed by water. Uh, right here is a uh, water elevator that goes up, down, and then they fall. And now I can just kill them one hit. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, I will have unlimited arrows and bone meal and ridiculous amounts of experience. Uh, so yeah, that was, uh, and you can see them just going up, because I made it, made this out of glass, so you can just watch them they go right on up there. Oh, you're so stupid. Yes! Look at all the experience packets being processed. Oh, I love it. Uh, this is definitely worth all the, pfft, can't talk. This is definitely worth all the, uh work I've put into it. Uh. Oh, and, uh, oh, and if you noticed, I, uh, have a ladder going down here, um, mine some cobblestone and whatnot, and I just lit the area down there up. Uh, and with my spare wood, Oh, there's a, uh, there you go. There's a nicer view. Yeah, so the skeletons spawn in there, and get pushed by water currents. The water currents are actually down here. And I think if I get close enough. Can you see the, yeah, you can see the water dripping down. That's where all the water is, and it pushes them into a trough, which then pushes them into the center. And the way I did that in the center, there's actually a, a cobblestone half slab which lets them step up easier. Um, it works very slowly without one. Oh, that is so good. I love this. Uh, there's a cobblestone half slab that they stand on and that gets their head into the water block. And then from there, they naturally start trying to swim up and they just swim right up the uh, shaft here. Um, on the downside, I have used up a ridiculous amount of the raw materials I had stored up, but I still have some, um, so, and, yeah, but with, uh, some of the spare material I had, I just went ahead and for easy access, I made myself a simple walkway, uh, to get back over there. So that is Vex's Tenuous Crystals Skeleton Grinder uh, and XP Grinder. So with that in place, I can get all the experience I want, and I can have awesome enchantments on all my gear. And if you were playing the map and you did something like this, I'm pretty sure at this point... Um, 
the map should be pretty easy from this point out. If, if you can get a nice experience grinder set up. Um, there you go. That's what it looks like. Whoa! <laughs> oh, was I wearing feather boots? No, I was not. That actually kind of hurt. I need to be more careful. Okay. So now that I've got my experience grinder in place, um, I don't know. I think I think I'll call this an episode. Uh, this will be a Vex build stuff episode, or maybe Vex tears down stuff that doesn't work and then build something that actually does work. Um, and I shouldn't even use my iron sword here, because I mean that's just overkill. I'm pretty sure I can just punch them. But yeah, so I'm kind of tempted to just ch chill here for a while and uh, get more experience. I don't know. Um, but if I do, I'll, I'll do it off camera because watching me sit here and doing this over and over, that would not be entertaining. So um, I think next episode I will take my newly enchanted stuff and I think I'm going to go into the Blackened Library back up there. So next episode should be geared up, should be uh, me geared up and ready and uh, forging into the Blackened Library. And hopefully the episodes will come out faster after that because uh, recently I've been doing a ton of construction, as you can see. And I don't really film that because it's not that fun to watch. Um, so I haven't been putting out episodes... Uh, Uh, as quickly as I would like. So um, after this you can expect the episodes to probably uh, come out uh, more quickly now that I don't have all that much construction to do. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next episode uh, geared up, inventory all sorted, and ready to take on the Blackened Library. So until then, take it easy guys and thank you very much for watching.